I uh, uh, started out my professional career thinking that I would be a scholar, an academic. Uh, so I, after undergraduate school, went on for a master's and PhD and began to teach, uh, something I uh, loved uh, 35, 40 years ago and still do love to do. Uh, but uh, as I was uh, pursuing a scholarly career, I also was interested in public policy. And I thought I'd just try government service for a year or two. Uh, somewhat to my surprise, I found government service incredibly rewarding, exciting, interesting. When it had gone into the State Department, and I then spent over 20 years government service. I retired from government and uh, found my way back to the university, uh, where I have been for the last 13 years at Georgetown as dean, uh, and have been enjoying that immensely uh, throughout this whole period, I think I was motivated by a substantive interest in international security, international relations generally, uh, and by the desire to do service, uh, and that still motivates me. When I look at the uh, menu of things that the MacArthur Foundation does, when I look at uh, its values, uh, its commitment uh, to improve the human condition, its fundamental optimism that the human condition can be improved. I'm excited by that. Uh, when I look at what the MacArthur Foundation is dedicated to, protecting uh, fundamental human rights around the world, uh, that's something I could commit myself to. Uh, when I look at the individual projects that the uh, MacArthur Foundation funds and supports um, internationally, domestically, in the city of Chicago, uh, I see values, substantive issues that fascinate me uh, and that I uh, believe in and that I would like to be part of in terms of promoting those values. I think that I have a, a reasonable appreciation for the Foundation and that appreciation is uh, for a, uh, an organization that is uh, moved by uh, the most uh, noble of values, uh, a foundation that is uh, committed to excellence, and uh, one that has been incredibly successful uh, across a broad um, set of issues, uh, and uh, one that looks to the future uh, even as it uh, takes pride in what it has accomplished over the last 30 years. I would like uh, grantees to know that I come to this position um, humbled by the magnitude of the task uh, with a passion and a commitment uh, to the mission, uh, with an open mind uh, with respect to which directions we go in, understanding that uh, as with past presidents I will have an obligation uh, to the board to review what the foundation does, uh, but with a willingness to learn first from the staff and then from the grantees themselves about how best to advance the mission of the foundation. I think I would like the staff to understand uh, that I appreciate uh, that the reputation of the foundation uh, turns in the first in instance on the staff and its professionalism, its integrity, uh, its hard work, its commitment to excellence and to the mission, uh, and also of course to the board, uh, that I will be looking to the staff uh, to be educated uh, and I'm looking to the staff and relying on the staff uh, to guide me uh, in my leadership position. So I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting them. I'm looking forward to uh, having them tell me about uh, the new directions that they are interested in moving with the foundation.